Mm -hmm. See, the fraud of the default judgment, yes, mm -hmm. is this premise that I can have whatever I ask the court for, yes, without uh, the individual in the civil matter getting notice of court hearings, yes. Now, if you don't appear in court, uh, it's your own fault that they got a default judgment. Right. But if you're indigent and you fit the description of what the state of Washington Supreme Court says is indigent. Yes. What's available to you is that the court can uh, pay for you to have an attorney. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, for all those civil matters that don't have any restraint provisions. Yes. Let's say you're. You're being sued in small claims court. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, you ran over the neighbor's dog. Yes. 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 <laughs> the neighbor said, well, I have all these damages, the emotional, mental, and physical damage of no longer having my pet. <laughs> they sue you for $2,000. <laughs> well, you're on welfare. Yeah. You don't have that $2,000. Yes. But it is a civil matter right now. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think 10,000 attorneys is too many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Considering all the civil matters that courts hear. Yes. How that uh, you're getting default judgments on those right now. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, these lobbyists that uh, can't have any offenses involving bribery. Mm -hmm. Uh, extortion, embezzlement, illegal kickbacks, tax evasion, fraud, uh, conflicts of interest, or making a false statement. Mm -hmm. I think it's a false statement to say that I'm mentally ill for informing law enforcement. Yes. I'd like to have my civil rights enforced. Yes. The civil rights that would have guaranteed me the right to life, liberty, and property. Uh -huh. Because of proof of notice from the state of jurisdiction before making any judgments. I don't think, yes, that I'm mentally ill as a homeless man for knowing that you've been violating my rights since July 8th of 2011. Yeah. And those sons that you said that did have to be with my wife, yeah, they need to be in my custody. Yes. Now, if you're concerned about me being able to pay for the housing needs of my family, yeah, you know, there's a possibility that I'm uh, owed, yes, victim's resources. Uh -huh. And then there's the victim's restitution. Mm -hmm. And then there's the financing available for every lawsuit. Yes, where I as the victim, uh -huh, the witness, ooh, and the government informant, yes, could get a large amount of money today to be able to support my family in a five-star hotel. <laughs> now, a lot of law firms would want to represent me in these different fraud cases. Yes, where you gave a default judgment because of the fraud of the court. <laughs> now, if I'd gotten notice of the conference setting hearings, yes, and I had went there and explained, yeah, and then said, well, judge, yeah, I'm indigent. I'd like you to pay for me to have an attorney <laughs> to represent me about what happened on Guam mm -hmm. and the false accusation of family violence, oh, child abuse, yeah, and assault, yes. And then I'd like you, Judge, to have an attorney paid for, yeah, to represent me in the United Nations to get a disillusion of marriage. And then, Judge, ooch, because now it gets really expensive, I'd like you to appoint an attorney for me of my choosing, yes, that will represent me in a court of law. Now, I'd like to have custody of my sons, and I'd like to get a divorce. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, these employers known as the courts that aid, abets, ratifies, or confirms any act of any judge. Yes. You know, for every judge in the employment of all uh, municipalities and states. Yeah. All superior court judges receive half their income from the county that they are employed in. Yes. And the other half from the state of Washington. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that the state, as your other half employer, yes, it does, is getting sued for the fraud of default judgments. <laughs> See, the employer, yes, known as the state of Washington, that pays half the salary of each and every superior court in this great state is personally liable for you not enforcing the Supreme Court rules as it relates to any of the rules that have been published. Ouch! So I'm going to want to sue this state. <clears throat> now, Brent, 
half your income comes from the state of Washington. Yes, the other half comes from the county. Every superior court mm -hmm, in this state and quite possibly every state, 50% of the actual salary of a superior court judge is paid from the county that they are a judge in, and the other half is paid from the state of Washington. <laughs> so for every superior court judge that said, well, we don't actually have any obligation to enforce the G-A-G-R rules. Yes. Now, there's an appendix that I downloaded that I haven't really looked at. <laughs> but these Supreme Court rules are actually enforceable because half your income comes from the state of 